I'm going to give you a short demonstration of Salesforce DevOps Center and also the Elements extension. And you can see a link there to the DevOps Center implementation guide. So as you can see here uh, on the right hand side, there's a, a, an image of DevOps Center and we'll dig into a bit more detail and see it uh, in my demonstration. But DevOps Center really is bringing the admin into the new world of source code development and, and release management. So first of all, it's a modern UI. So again, chain sets are going, nice point and click, easily understood uh, interface. Secondly, it's actually applying source control. So behind the scenes is GitHub. Uh, you don't need to worry about that because it's all hidden behind the scenes, as I said, but, but it's actually now the same source controlled system as your developers are using. The really nice thing is that you end up with a pipeline so you can drive your changes through from uh, developer through sandbox and production with clicks rather than actually having to use complex CLI type uh, commands. Uh, and finally, you, you're now working with the same source control, the same configuration as your developers, so it's bringing everybody together. So the real power here is that you're actually uh, enabling collaboration between the different stakeholders who are involved in getting everything through from design all the way through to implementation. So the architects, the developers, the admins, uh, your power users and, and consultants if you're using those to support your implementations. So this is getting everybody on the same page, which means that better collaboration, uh, less ambiguity, fewer mistakes and ultimately faster time to delivery. So there really are two phases. There's planning the work, the business analysis. That's where you're creating a release, uh, developing your user stories. Uh, you're uh, deciding what metadata, maybe new metadata or change metadata is part of that user story. You're assessing the risk of that user story so you understand what development effort you need to put into it. And then you create a work item, which is the handover from your business analysis piece, which is probably done inside elements.cloud, across to uh, DevOps Center. So the work item is that pivotal object. So then when you're in your development environment, you're then making those changes, which is either changing the metadata items or adding new ones. You're linking that work item that you've created to an org. And that behind the scenes is doing all the work with GitHub. You then add those changes by doing a pull request. You're adding those changes to the work item. Now this is the normal painful activity of one by one, adding those uh, meta item, metadata items to a change set. That's gone. Now in one click, as I'm going to show you, it will pull all the changes and you can very quickly select the items to add to that work item. Now the really cool thing is that work item now flows through the pipeline rather than having to create a new chain set for every push that you have to do. Massive time saving uh, and that's why I think so many people are excited about moving across to DevOps Center. Uh, then obviously you can refer, uh, you, you do your checks to refer, uh, verify that nothing's missing and then you're able to push that through to the next stage all the way through to production. Again, this is going to massively simplify the way that and the time it takes to uh, push changes through that pipeline. Uh, it will make sure that everyone's on the same page because you're using the same source control of both developers and admins. And the feedback we've been getting from the pilot users and the closed beta is that uh, uh, it's a revelation. They would never go back. So one of the pilot users, John Eistick from uh, Marcus and Miller Chap, his comment was, uh, with change sets you're ecstatic if they go through first time. With DevOps Center you're disappointed if it doesn't. And I'm sure everyone that, out there can relate to the challenges of trying to get a change set created and then actually making sure that it gets pushed through first time. So let's go and see DevOps Center and uh, elements.cloud together. So I want to talk through how a release would work, all the way from defining the release, creating the user stories, making the changes in Salesforce, and then pushing them through the different pipeline uh, stages in DevOps Center. So here we are in Elements. Uh, you can see that we have three different releases. Uh, the release I'm going to focus on is this one called Build Partner Success. It's a major release. It's high risk. You can see that it's linked here to a project in JIRA. So if I go into this release, you can now see that this release actually has three different user stories associated with it. As marketing, how do we track testimonials? As an AI, I want to show a successful testimonial and how do we capture it? So if I just look at the top one there, um, that's user story number 16. You can see that it's linked to a JIRA story. So actually, if I click on that, it will open up JIRA. 
and there is the story in Jira. That right panel which you saw inside Elements is now visible inside Jira. So let's go through each of the different sections in that right panel. So the first one is obviously the information. Uh, I can edit the story, I can change its status, summary, if it's linked to a requirement, uh, which roles are affected, descriptions, acceptance criteria, and so on, which we've not filled out. You can see the status is ready for implementation. So the next one down is the risk of this user story. We've said it's high risk. We can actually look at an impact assessment, technical, organizational, regulatory, and a complexity assessment. So again, you manually decide on those. The next item down is which metadata items do we believe are going to be changed or new items, proposed items that you could go and add here in this section? So this is our view as business analysts talking to the end users. Obviously, when it comes to development, they may identify other things that need to be changed. The next tab down is associated with DevOps Center. So at the moment, we haven't got a work item inside DevOps Center that's linked to this. We'll do that in a moment. I just want to look at some of the other items first. Uh, we can add documentation. So this was maybe the notes from the requirements workshops and the architecture notes. Maybe it's a, a screenshot from an ERD. Uh, it's links to processes. Uh, so again, adding more information so that when the developers or uh, anyone on the development side takes a look at it, there's a lot more context. All the information that's been gathered through business analysis can be linked here, either as notes, URL links, screenshots uh, or process diagrams or architecture diagrams and we can have discussions here so uh, adrian king we need to be clear on ownership rick did we get sign off from the architect so all the discussions happening here on the user story i can obviously share that user story as a link and i can see the history of how this has changed over time so we looked at a release in terms of user stories but this view is showing us all the metadata in all of those user stories and then starting to do some conflict checking. You can see that this top item's got a red triangle because that metadata item is in three user stories, but it's across two different releases. So obviously if that first release is pushed through to production, there may be a problem because actually that metadata item is being changed in, in another release. This item here, is orange because actually it is in two different user stories in the same release. So that right panel is available in JIRA, in a number of different pages or applications inside Elements. It doesn't really matter which I go to, but I'm here on this page and I want to go and go to this tab, which is about uh, the DevOps Center, and I want to go and create a work item. So this user story will have a one-to-one -one relationship with the work item. So if I go and create the work item, I need to decide which pipeline, I which project I want to associate it with. And I want to uh, track testimonials. And it's now gone and created work item number 32 inside DevOps Center. Status is new. It's currently not assigned to any particular org. So let's go across now to DevOps Center and see what's there. So there is that new work item. And the first thing I need to do is I need to associate it with an org. So uh, that work needs to be to deliver that user story needs to be done in an org. So I'm going to associate it with org dev one. And what's happening is DevOps Center behind the scenes is creating a GitHub branch. And then what I can do is I can click pull changes, and it's now going to tell me all the things that have the metadata changes that have occurred since the last time we did a commit. So this is how I very quickly add the metadata items to my work item. So for those of you who are used to adding items to change sets, one by one by one, here you can do it in bulk. I need to put a description in. And DevOps Center is now adding those metadata items to that work item. And the really cool thing is that work item will now flow through the pipeline. So now I've added those metadata items to that work item. 
The next thing I need to do is create a review. And that's where we're pushing a request for someone to review that those metadata items should now be promoted. That's now been done. Assuming that's been reviewed, I can then say ready to promote. And now I cannot change this work item. If I need to make any changes in the future, I need to create a new work item. But the beauty of having a user story linked to a work item means that I can add the extra, the fixed work item to that same user story so they stay connected. So this is now ready to promote. So if we just go to the pipeline view, this is our pipeline, which we define inside DevOps Center. We've got this new track testimonial work item. We've got UAT staging and production. Uh, so you can have multiple pipelines. This is our normal pipeline. So now this item is ready to be, to be promoted. I can click there and hit promote. Now behind the scenes, DevOps Center is managing the pull and pushes of data to and from GitHub and the Salesforce orgs. And that's all I needed to do. I've now created a work item, added metadata items, and pushed it from one org to another. But before we leave this page, there's one last thing. You can see that this stage called staging, it's the stage is, it's got a status called bundled. And that means that whenever we promote anything from this stage, it takes all the work items at the same time and pushes them to production. Just a really great feature, which means uh, all the work items in a release get pushed at the same time. And because there's a, a tight integration between elements and DevOps Center and elements and JIRA, that status of this work item 32, if we go back to elements, we'll see that that right panel has been updated so we know exactly which uh, stage it's in. So here, that right panel, we can see that work item 32 has been promoted and it's in UAT. And we can see the nine metadata items that have all been committed. So again, we're getting a picture of the metadata items by org at the user story level. So that's visible here and in JIRA because that right panel from elements is appearing in JIRA and here in DevOps Center. So in that quick demo, I showed you how you can use elements and JIRA and DevOps Center to push a change through. So let's just have a quick look at this image and see what was happening. In Elements, clearly we're match, uh, managing the releases, user stories, and links to all the metadata in, in terms of building up that metadata dictionary. You're synchronizing that user story with a JIRA ticket or a JIRA story. You can create a work item inside Elements, which is immediately populated inside DevOps Center. And then our integration is keeping all of those in sync. And obviously, you're able to see all the information associated with the user story from the business analysis. You can see that both in JIRA and inside DevOps Center. So I said at the beginning of this uh, session that there was a DevOps implementation guide. Uh, it's being developed at the moment. Uh, Elements.cloud is working with Salesforce to create the content there. It will be available before the open beta, which is in June. Uh, if you're already listening to this in June, it's available now. And as you can see, the contents there are about getting you up to speed, not just in terms of DevOps Center, the product, but also the principles of DevOps Center, and also identify some of the best practices that you need to put in place. So there's a link there, elements.cloud slash DOC, DOC standing for DevOps Center. Uh, you can then register there to go and get a copy of the guide.